What's going on everybody? It's Monkey Farm. We are back with another Create Mod video. And uh, I recently did a Create Mod Basics video, which was kind of an overview, uh, getting started video, you know, kind of tips and tricks of what you'll need to go after first. Uh, like how do you create power, like with the windmill behind me, and uh, what are some of the materials and things we can craft and make, and you know, some of the things we can do with the different machines we can build. Um, but also, you know, how do we wash materials and get other items, uh, you know, crafting items and materials, things like that. How do we use the grinder behind us, the mixer, um, all that stuff. And uh, a lot of you guys had a lot of questions about brass. And that is what I consider kind of like the first step into mid game. So congratulations to everybody who's gotten to brass and needs brass. Um, so we're going to go over all that today. Uh, we're going to show you, well, I'm going to go through a bunch of things. First, um, there were a lot of questions on how do we make it? How do we, you know, or how do we even find it? A lot of people um, were having trouble finding the ores too. So we're going to go through all that and then we're going to show you some of the cool things, uh, some of the machines and things that require brass and uh, maybe a little bit about what they do and stuff like that. So hopefully that'll get you up into the expert level. All right. One thing we need before we go on our little adventure is I need to make sure you guys have the right mods because a lot of people were saying they didn't know how to find the recipes because they don't have this thing over here, this menu that I have. Uh, and this is called just enough items. This is not part of the create mod. This is like a general mod that if you're using any mods, you generally have this mod because it tells you like how to craft things, right? You click on the item, tells you what you need, how to put it together, what machines you use to put it together, you know, if there are different items you haven't seen before, how do I craft those, yada, 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 right? Um, so install just enough items as well. Um, and I'm going under the assumption you know how to install mods or have watched a video telling you how. Um, we're not going to do that in this video, obviously, because um, you already have the create mod, right? And I'm assuming that um, we're talking about brass here. All right, I have set up a test world and I flew around a little bit hoping I could find some copper and zinc and that is what we need to make brass. So I'm going to show you that right here. Um, here is some copper ore. By the way, it looks a little bit different color before it uh, has exposure to the sun. Now, once this is out in the sun, it's going to start looking like that a little bit. Uh, and it can also look a little bit green too, as you can see right there. So if you find anything that looks like this, but reddish green or brown, uh, any of those kind of colors, that is what you want. That is copper, and it's um, it's not, well, it depends on where you're at, I guess, how, uh, how common it is to find. Obviously, this is a mountain area, and uh, you can see there's a lot of copper around here. So lucky, lucky me, this is a good spot. Um, and since there's a lot of exposed stone, this is a really good place to uh, come explore trying to find copper and zinc because, uh, you know, you don't have grass covering up everything. You have a lot of exposed stone. Like, look over here. Here's even a ton more. So I would recommend going to places like this. Also, for zinc, uh, which is actually this block right here, I will show you. It looks kind of purplish, silver, white kind of ore. Uh, this is zinc. I don't think zinc changes color. I think only copper changes color. Um, but I hear zinc is very common in deserts. Um, so go check out deserts if you're having a uh, you know a hard time finding any zinc. So anyway, as you can see, uh, this copper has turned green. It's probably going to turn brown after that. Um, but the levels you can find it at, uh, we are at just about level 80. We did see, uh, wait, was that copper? No. Um, so from what I can hear, i you know, I've checked out some of the boards and seeing what other people, where other people are finding. Oh, here's some zinc right here. Uh, we are at, you know, level 68 through 80, uh, right around ground level is where you're going to find a lot of copper, you know, like, so go find a mountain area, go find, you know, caves around ground level, uh, kind of like the, you know, where you'll find iron a lot of the time. So like level 40 through 80 ish, uh, I know that's kind of a big range, but I, it seems like you can find a lot of copper in that range. Uh, zinc of course is kind of the same. Um, but I would check out a desert. Uh, I've heard several people say they find a lot of zinc in deserts uh, as opposed to other uh, biomes. So I would definitely go and check that out. 
Um, but let's get back to the test world and show you how to actually make brass out of this stuff. All right, we are back from our amazing adventure. We have copper ore, we have zinc ore. We're so excited. Now, what the heck do we do? How do we get brass out of this stuff? Well, uh, so you've obviously you've gathered that we have to combine copper and zinc to get brass, but uh, how do we, you know, what do you do? Well, obviously you might think, oh, uh, well, I smelt iron and gold ores, so do I smelt these? Uh, you can, but that is a less efficient way to do it. You're going to get less brass in the long run out of uh, starting by smelting your ores. You'll get more out of it if you start by grinding the ores. Here's another catch to that though. So there's two ways to grind your ores or other all sorts of materials. But anyway, we're talking about ores right now. Uh, you can crush them or use the crushing wheels to grind them up and that will give you um, crushed copper and crushed zinc. You can also use the millstone. Now, if you don't have brass yet, which is obviously the purpose of this whole thing, you can't actually make these crushing wheels because they changed the recipe. This is what's required to make the crushing wheels. And although this doesn't take any brass, you have to make them in mechanical crafters, which take brass to make. So you can't actually make these crushing wheels without things that require brass, right? So we're going to start with the with the millstone. And by the way, this extractor, you can't, that requires brass too. So forget that. I, I know you guys had that idea. Well, guess what? No, sorry. So we're going to throw an ingot in there and we are only going to get one. Uh, we have to wait and we actually have to manually extract it with our, we have to right click it. So that's going to give us one crushed copper. Um, now we can throw this in and we're going to get one crushed zinc. Uh, you can actually get two potentially, or I think maybe every time, I don't remember, uh, if it's every time or just part of the time, but anyway, uh, in here you can sometimes get two. Yeah. So we only got one that time. Let's see if we get, yeah, we got two that time. All right. So the crushing wheels are ultimately in the long run what you want to use, but since you don't have brass yet, you can't make those crushing wheels. So. And uh, apparently I got some cobblestone out of it too. Um, all right, so we have two crushed zinc and two crushed copper. Now what we wanna do is come over here to the mechanical mixer and you're gonna need blaze powder, obviously, or blaze rods. Uh, so you're gonna have to go in the nether before you're really gonna make brass, but you throw one of your crushed copper in there, one of your crushed zinc in there and a blaze rod. Now. Throw the blaze rod in last because otherwise, okay, so I didn't see what that, what did that give us? Two crushed brass? Okay, so one, one crushed copper and one crushed zinc gave us two crushed brass and we didn't actually use the blaze rod, it's just a catalyst, but don't throw the blaze rod in first. I learned this lesson the hard way. I only had two blaze rods and hang on, I have this set to two, but if you have it set to one, it's going to eat up your blaze rod and give you blaze powder. So, um, the other way you can kind of get around that as a, you know, a security measure is to use your wrench and increase the, uh, the mixer minimum to two. That way, if you accidentally throw in your, your blaze rod first, uh, it's not going to use it up. So now we can go ahead and throw in our other crushed zinc and our crushed brass. We didn't lose our blaze rod because uh, blaze rods are probably the hardest thing to come by actually uh, in very early game, you know, compared to uh, copper and zinc, right? So there we go. We got four crushed brass out of that. Now, once you have the brass, you want to come over here to your washer and just throw that in the washer. And that is going to give us a bunch of little nuggets some little cheeky nuggies and look we just got 50 brass nuggets off of four was that four crush powder so what is that more than 10 each okay uh that's when you drop them as a stack if you drop them one by one uh you tend to get uh i don't know what the range is but you'll get you'll get nine you'll get nine or more i think uh because basically you have to you have to combine these 
uh, obviously you can combine these in the crafter or I mean the, yeah, the crafting bench and, uh, and get actual brass ingots. All right. So out of four crushed brass, we got five brass nuggets. Now that's one way to do it. Now, if we, let's throw a couple of these in here and we're going to compare this once you actually have the crushing wheels, because this might encourage you to craft these crushing wheels first. Look what we just got. We just got four. Uh, we just got four where we were only getting one crushed uh, copper and zinc out of the millstone. So you're going to get double out of that. Now, if you smelt your ores first, let's, uh, let's throw two. Whoops, that was three. Hang on. Two of those and two of those. Let's get rid of all this stuff just so we know. Okay, we had five brass ingots from two of the other thingies. All right, so we got two copper ingots and two zinc bars. Now we go back to the mixer, and this time, instead of throwing in blaze rods, we're going to throw in a blaze powder. And that gave us two. All right, and that gave us two. So basically, from the same amount, we ended up with one more brass ingot than we did by grinding it first. So we, we had an extra step, but we got more brass out of it, and that's important. Now, once you have the brass, you're probably going to need it crushed into brass plates, and that's where we just come over here and uh, smash it in the mechanical press. So the reason ultimately what we're going for is these brass sheets is let's look at some of the items we're going to craft with them um let's see that well this is a little bit uh difficult but see brass sheets right here uh crushing wheels let's see uh we don't actually need brass for the crushing wheels that's right we need it for the mechanical crafters so let's look at these yep brass sheets again one more thing I wanted to mention that is less efficient about using the ingots first versus the crushed copper. Uh, remember when I said the blaze rod is only used as a catalyst? Well, guess what? When you throw in your ingots and the zinc bar and you throw in a blaze powder, whoops. Guess what happens? That blaze powder is gone. So you lose your blaze powder. Now, if I throw in the crushed powder and the blaze rod. Look, I have 59 blaze rods. Now I have 60. So the blaze rod is not going to get used up. If you're like me and you only had two blaze rods when you were trying to make some brass and you didn't want to go back into the nether to try to fight some blazes, then you're going to want to use a blaze rod and the crushed copper and zinc instead of the ingots, you know? So there's two reasons to crush it or grind it first, you know, instead of uh, smelting it, right? So that's uh, the two big things you need to remember about that. Anyway, that is pretty much it. That's how you get to brass. That's how you find it. That's how you make it. That's what you need. This is what you're doing. I don't know. I think that's all I have for now. So hopefully that helped a lot of you guys. Everybody was asking, you know, uh, I can't find brass or I don't know how to make it. What's going on? What's that mod you have showing the recipes and all that? Um, so we went all over that and I hope uh, that is all you need. So feel free to leave more questions in the comments and um, we'll see you next time.